Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning December 14th. Because it is a general reading, may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to look at forecast for your moon sign or your rising sign. Get a bigger picture. All right, so let's get started. For those of you who are new to the channel, know that I do channel messages from spirit. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my new channel. Really appreciate that. If it resonates with you, add a comment below if you want to claim the reading. Add a comment below. It helps me connect to your energy. Thanks, spirit. Okay. So, again, I do connect with the ton of spirits in my space. I've also been connected to some of your guides. As a matter of fact, some of them are already here. And they will do whatever it takes to get my attention. As a matter of fact, one of them is telling somebody, get your head out of your behind. It's time to move forward. Because somebody's getting, somebody's pretty stagnant in the situation, apparently. All right, but let's get a full reading. Let's get some cards down and see if we can not help interpret that even further for you guys. Gemini, for the period beginning, the 14th of December... What do we got? Let's find out. All right. All right, so we've got the page of swords in reverse. And we've got temperance in reverse. We got the king of cups. We got the king of pentacles in reverse. So right here I know that there's a rivalry going on between two parties. Because we have two kings in opposition and one of them is in reverse. We've got the Ten of Rods in reverse, okay? And we've got the Seven of Coins in reverse. All right, so let's get started with this Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords in reverse is about someone in the space being manipulative and cunning. Um, because it's a sword, it could be Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be the one who's manipulative and cunning, or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. All right? And really what Spirit tells us is to be cautious about the information you're receiving from this person because it may not always be upfront honest. It may be less than that. Okay? So if you're dealing with, uh, with somebody just... Put the filter on, especially if they are a fire sign, uh, I'm sorry, an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, because what's coming out of their mouth may not exactly be the God's honest truth, okay? Um, so next to that is temperance, and that's all about, typically when temperance is upright, it's about tempering your words. Oh, there's no tempering your words going on here. There's such an imbalance. Um, I also see from spirit problems with money, money problems, um, problems in relationships, but really more, more about problems with money right now and that you're trying to move away from. So we so typically, uh, temperance is more about getting to that, that feelings of trust in a relationship but I'm guessing that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't trust anybody uh, or very, very few people in their inner circle. And even the ones in their inner circle, they don't trust all of them. So, so, so be very careful about your dealings this week, uh, Gemini, as you're moving forward. So we've got the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is about, um, typically the King of Cups is about following your heart. Um, it's about, well, really the need to settle a conflict. So there's some kind of conflict going on. on and, and, you know, looking at past readings in the last couple of periods, there's an ongoing conflict going on, and it's time to settle it. Um, like, so Spirit is saying, Gemini, get your head out of your behind. Uh, look for another way to move forward. 
because it's like you're beating, I'm, somebody's showing me they're beating a drum, they're beating this drum, they're beating this drum, they're beating, and the drum is, um, the, the, the sticks are all chipped, you know, uh, splintered, and the drum face is all um, <coughs> torn to shreds. Like, you just can't beat this drum anymore. It's not working for you. It's not working to your benefit. Um, it, it's just not working to your benefit. So, you know, when we get to that king of pentacles, the king of coins, you know, the reverse of a king of coins is about greed and not being in untrustworthiness, you know. Double check all your financial agreements, you know. I keep getting from spirit... If you don't let this go, it's going to hurt you more in the future. Okay? I see the Ten of Rods, and the Ten of Rods is about typically feeling overburdened. It's in reverse, so it's really, you just, you're so burdened so much, so much stress, you can't sleep over this situation. You really need to let it go. You can't focus. Um, and, and the problem that we have here about having the ability to move forward with your goals. If you don't let go of this conflict or settle this conflict, it's going to hurt you in the long run. You don't want to do that. You know, this is all about, in reverse, um, time's running out. Commit to the next thing. Let go of this current thing, whatever the current thing is, you know. See, and then you'll have that happy ending, the celebration that you're looking for. Whatever conflict's going on right now between you, it's time to settle it, this period, to have your happy ending. I hope that makes sense to you guys. What do you got for the card? You've got um, Kuan Yin. Pfft, let it go. <laughs> okay, so it's all about letting go of the current conflict, whatever you're spinning your wheels on. It's time to finally put it to rest so that you can move forward because you need to let this go. Your reputation is at stake, okay? It's going to help, it's going to, if you don't let it go, I see, okay, I'm getting so many different, haunting you the rest of your life. It will follow you in a negative way if you don't let it go now. It's already, dis it's already damaging you emotionally. Let's not continue that, Gemini, okay? All right, so that's all I've got. Thanks for liking and subscribing and for commenting below the video if this resonates with you. You guys have a great week.